Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about PEMDAS. PEMDAS is an acronym we use to tell us the order of operations. We'll use this anytime we're evaluating expressions. So what does all that mean? Up until this point in your math career, you've probably done all of your math from left to right. Stuff like five times 10 times two, let's see, five times 10 is 50, 50 times two is 100 equals 100. Or three plus nine minus two, let's see, three plus nine, that's 12 minus two is 10. So that equals 10. But now we're getting into more complicated math. And when we run into a problem like this one, we can't just keep doing things from left to right, or we'll violate the laws of math and we'll get the wrong answer. We definitely don't want to do either of those things. So we have to do our operations like adding or dividing or multiplying in a specific order. That's called the order of operations. And PEMDAS is an acronym that tells us what that order is. So anytime we run into something complicated like this, we can confidently use PEMDAS. If you're feeling confused right now, don't worry, we'll jump in and it'll start to make more sense. So quickly, let's go over the four steps of PEMDAS. The first P stands for parentheses. This also includes grouping symbols like brackets or even absolute value. Our second step is exponents. After we do the parentheses and the exponents, we'll move on to the third step, which is to both multiply and divide. And the fourth step is to add and subtract. So you'll notice that the third and fourth steps seem to have two steps in them, right? Like multiply and divide or add and subtract. The way we'll do these is we'll just go from left to right, just like you're used to. And we will multiply if we see a multiplication sign or we'll divide when we see div division. Um, and we'll just do those at the same time from left to right. So let's start with our first problem. 11 plus two plus one squared times four. So thinking back to our PEMDAS, the first thing we wanna start with is the parentheses. We'll do what's inside the parentheses, two plus one. So we'll get 11 plus three squared times four. Great, so we did the parentheses. The next step in PEMDAS is exponents. Do we have any exponents in this problem? Well, we do, we have the squared. So we'll evaluate three squared, which would be nine. So we'll have 11 plus nine times four. Looking good. All right, on to the next step, which is multiplication and division. We have multiplication in this problem. So let's go ahead and do that. 9 times 4 is 36. All right, 11 plus 36. Okay, and there's just one step left in our problem, 11 plus 36, 47. There you go, and you've solved your first problem with PEMDAS, the order of operations. Okay, next problem, 5 minus 8 times 2 divided by 4. So first we'll check, do we have any parentheses in this problem? No. Do we have any exponents? No. So we're already on to the third step, multiplication and division. Now remember, for this step, we're just going to look from left to right to see what comes first. So 5 minus 8 times 2, that times is the first multiplication and division. So let's do that first. So we'll have 5 minus 16 divided by 4. Great. Now let's see. We still have division in this problem, so we're still on our third step. So 5 minus 16 divided by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So now we have 5 minus 4, and we're down to just our last step, subtraction, 5 minus 4 is 1. Okay, next problem. 37 minus 12 divided by 4 times 5. Our first step, parentheses. Do we have any parentheses in this problem? No, we don't. Okay, number two, exponents. Do we have any exponents? Nope, none of those either. Okay, we're on to our third step, multiplication and division. So for this step, we don't necessarily do multiplication first, remember. We're going to look from left to right and do whatever comes first. So 37 minus 12 divided by four, that division sign comes before the multiplication. So we'll do that first. 12 divided by four is three. So we have 37 minus three times five. Okay, we still have multiplication in this problem, so we're still on our third step. So we'll do that multiplication. Three times five is 15. So we have 37 minus 15. And now we're just left with a subtraction. So we have 37 minus 15 is 22. Let's do one more problem today. Two plus six times one plus four minus three squared. We'll start with our first step parentheses. So we'll add that one plus four inside the parentheses to get five. Two plus six times five minus three squared. So we did everything with the parentheses. Now we're on to exponents. We do have an exponent in this problem, three squared. So we'll change that to nine. 2 plus 6 times 5 minus 9. Great. 
Now let's see, we did everything with parentheses, we did everything with exponents, we're on to multiplication and division. Do we have any multiplication or division in this problem? We do, we have that six times five. So that'll simplify to 30. So we have two plus 30 minus nine. In our final step, all we have left is addition and subtraction. So we're on to the fourth step. And we just do this from left to right, just like multiplication and division. So two plus 30, that's 32 minus nine. 32 minus nine is 23. That's it for this video. Check out more of my videos to practice PEMDAS or other math skills. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one online tutoring, visit my website at katietutorsmath.com. See you next time.